Welcome back to our Kali Linux Mastery Course. By the end of this video, you'll be navigating Kali Linux like a pro and understanding the core tools that every cybersecurity expert needs. Today, we'll master the basics of Kali Linux, setting you up for success as we dive into the world of ethical hacking and cybersecurity. In our last video, we set up Kali Linux and we customized it. Now, it's time that we learn how to use it. We'll start with the essential navigation, covering some basic commands, and introduce the powerful tool categories that we'll be using. All right, let's take a look at the basics of the Kali Linux file system and how we can navigate it. Now, whether you're a pro in Linux or you're brand new to it, I highly encourage you just to follow along. It's only going to take a couple of minutes and a refresher never hurts. All right, we've got a couple icons on the desktop. Let's click on file system. This is one way to get right into the file system. Also, double click on home. These are two very important directories within Kali Linux or any distribution of Linux. The home is basically going to be forward slash home forward slash your username. You can also access that by using the tilde on your keyboard. Now the root, as we call it, is literally the top level of the Linux distribution. You get to that by just passing a forward slash. So these are two key folders or directories that we want to keep in mind, root and home. A lot of people get these mixed up, but just know that the root is literally the top level. And then as you see here, this is our home directory. So each user account will have its own home directory. And if you're new to Linux, this does look a lot like Windows. You have documents, desktop downloads, etc. And then home and then root obviously is that top level where we have a lot of the underlying Linux directories for different things. We'll get into some of those as we progress through the series, but I just wanted to hammer home <laughs> no pun intended, the home and the root directories for today. And know that we can explore these through the command prompt or the terminal, as I should say, in Linux, which we'll be doing a lot of throughout this series. But we can also navigate and access these through the file explorer as well. So just become familiar with how to create a directory. We can do that with mkdir and then the name of the directory. Uh, we can also create files and list files by using ls to list them. And then if you want to create a file, you can do touch and then space and then do the directory and the file name. So I've just created a test file within that test folder. So now if we cd to the test folder and do an ls to list the contents, we do see that we have a test file. If you want to go back a directory, cd space dot dot. Now we're back in that home directory and we see that we have a test folder. Same thing in File Explorer. You can now see the test folder and the contents being that test file. So I'm gonna show you a pretty cool command here. Be careful how you use this. It's RM, which is short for remove. And then we're gonna do dash RF, which is recursive and remove the files. And then we'll specify that test directory. As you see, that blew away or nuked that entire test directory and all of its contents. This is a demo, so all of its contents being that one file. But just note that if you run this as root or you do a sudo, you could do some serious damage. So be careful how you use things. But it's a very powerful command that we'll be using throughout this series. All right, so again, just hammer that home. The forward slash is your root directory. The tilde is your home directory. So the root is the top level in Linux, the forward slash, and then the home directory is the forward slash home, forward slash your username, in my case, IT Unicorn. All right, let's move on to the different categories, the fun stuff that we're going to cover throughout this series. All right, let's just start from the top here. We'll go right down the line. I'm not going to talk about every single tool, obviously. That's going to be later in the series when we cover each one of these categories. But starting off with number one, information gathering. Anytime you're doing a pen test or anything along those lines, you need to get information on your targets. So you're going to uncover hidden secrets by mastering the art of information gathering. This is your first step in any success penetration test. Learn how to map out your target's entire digital footprint. Number two, vulnerability analysis. Expose the cracks in any system's armor. Dive deep into vulnerability analysis and learn how to identify and exploit weaknesses before the bad guys do. Number three, web application analysis. The web is a hacker's playground. Discover the tools and techniques that make web applications both vulnerable and secure. Your key to mastering web security. Number four, database assessment. Databases hold the crown jewels of any organization. Learn how to crack open and how to secure these treasure troves of information in our database assessment deep dive. Number five, one of my favorites, password attacks. 
Break the code and crack the vault. Discover the most effective techniques for password cracking and learn how to defend against them. Number six, another one of my favorites, wireless attacks. Hack the airwaves and take control. Wireless networks are vulnerable. Learn how to secure them and how to attack them using industry leading tools. Number seven, reverse engineering. Turn software inside out. Reverse engineering is your path to understanding and exploiting any application's core logic. Number eight, exploitation tools. Arm yourself with the tools of the trade from Metasploit to custom exploits. Learn how to breach defenses and take control. Number nine, sniffing and spoofing. Listen in on the data that matters. Sniffing and spoofing are critical skills. Master them to become invisible in the network. Number 10, post-exploitation. Getting in is just the beginning. Post-exploitation is where the real magic happens. Learn how to maintain access and gather intelligence. Number 11, trace the untraceable with forensics. Learn how to cover your tracks or uncover the truth. Digital forensics is your key to mastering both sides of the story. Number 12, reporting tools. Document your conquest with precision. Learn how to use reporting tools to create compelling professional reports that showcase your findings. Number 13, another one of my favorites, the social engineering tools. Hack the human mind. Social engineering is the most powerful tool in your arsenal. Learn how to exploit the weakest link in any security chain, the human. As you can see, Kali Linux offers a ton of amazing offensive security tools that we're going to dive deep into in this series. So make sure you give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to the channel because all the future videos in this series, we're going to be jumping into these tools, showing you how to use them and giving you some hints and some tips on how to protect yourself for the types of attacks and exploits that we're going to demonstrate. Appreciate you watching the video. Definitely give it a thumbs up. Consider sharing with your friends as well and drop me a comment. I hope you all have a great day and until the next video, take care.